Александра Игнатова, Московская область. Olympic champion in women's single skating Anna Shubakova shared her impressions of Alexandra Ignatova's Tusova performance in the shore program at the Russian national team's test skates in St. Petersburg. During Sasha Tusova's skate, I had goosebumps, both from the opportunity to see her on the ice again and from the fact that when I watch her skate, it still seems to me that I too will have to run out onto the ice and perform, Shubakova said on Channel 1. Eliona Kostanaya praised the return of Trusova and Shubakova as hosts. Sasha Ignatova and I meet in Angels of Plushinko. It is not news to me that Sasha skates. I am used to Sasha on the ice. I have great respect that she is coming out after a break. Moving on. Anya Shubakova is still recovering. I wish her a speedy recovery. Anya is a good host. No matter how much we watched, there was practically no mistake. Everyone stumbles, mixes up words. Anya did not have this. I did not see it. It is not because she is my friend. It is incredibly pleasant to listen to, said Kostanoya. Five years of the Trusova Shubakova Kostanoya year. Grew up before her eyes, met not as rivals. Alexander Trusova's decision to show up for the test skates, launch discussions about the goals of her comeback, arguments about the prospects of cooperation with Plushenko, and even jokes about the Federation's awkward attempts to combine a recognizable brand with her new last name. But this comeback so far rather conditional is a reason to think about more global things. For example, about why the return of an athlete who missed the season and devoted half the summer to preparing for a wedding is still more exciting than the skates of new stars. About how unique the time of dominance of Alexander Trusova, Anna Shubakova and Eliona Kostanaya was will we have another chance to see something like this. How fleeting are the eras in women's skating? The adult career of the best generation of tubbird skaters began only five years ago, but how much has happened? Now large-scale test skates with giant screens, express interviews with skaters and solid ticket prices are already a common thing, although they switched to this format only six years ago. The reason was the sharp rise in popularity after the dramatic 2018 Olympics, and the main topic of that September was the first meeting of Evgenia Medvedeva with the Terry Tubbards after their scandalous breakup. A year later, sparks were still flying between Medvedeva and her former coaches. Alina Zajitova presented her final competition programs. At that time, naturally, no one perceived them that way, although the shore program with the refrain I'm leaving aroused suspicion. Tatamashiva tried two triple axles in her free program for the first time. It was against such a powerful background that Tusova, Shurbakova and Kostornia had to start their adult careers. The generation that put Ultra C on stream and made them not exclusive news, but commonplace, not a circus attraction, but part of a program. Strictly speaking, they already had experience of adult performances. Due to a slightly more lenient internal age limit, all three managed to participate in the Russian championship, Eliona even twice. Moreover, they were the ones who competed for the podium in December 2018. But the first international adult season is a completely different stakes and level of responsibility. Medals from the adult Russian championship until this point could not be converted into tickets to the European and World Championships, and the judges' scores at least in the components risk sagging after a direct comparison with Sakamoto, Mihar, Kahira and other competitors. The uniqueness of the girls, of course, was already evident in the juniors. Trusova and Shubakova turned out to be ideal sparring partners. Perhaps without them, progress in mastering quads would have been much slower and more modest. Kostanoya won in other ways. With her skating that was meaningful beyond her years, her sweeping gliding, and her impressive musicality. Rarely will a junior be compared to Carolina Kostner, and in terms of components for her debut performance at an international adult tournament, Eliona was well ahead of the previous tops. Zajitova by 2-5 points, Litniskaya by 5-5, Medvedeva by almost 7. As it turned out later, the test performances really angered Alina. Of all the rivals of this generation, she was the only one who came out without an ultra C. And even two ideally suitable, and opposite in mood, programs could not be a sufficient argument against Shubakova's attempt to go for a quad lutz, and three clean quads by Trusova. Perhaps, it was Kostanaya who spent these five years in the most unpredictable way. From 2019, it seemed that Eliona could equally win the Olympics or quit figure skating after one unsuccessful training session, so explosive was the combination of her talent and emotionality. Kostanaya herself gave reasons to doubt the longevity of her career, 
discussing potential work as an erosurgeon or a serious passion for equestrian sports. To assume five years ago that Eliona would reset a career in single skating and start briskly skating out of triple throws was about as wild as the idea that the entire Russian figure skaters would be suspended from competitions, Tuberz's best student would be banned for four years for doping, and Zajitova would turn from a public favorite into a supplier of memes. It is too early to evaluate Kostanaya's experiment in pair skating in terms of medals. It is important for something completely different, although it is already obvious that Alexei Zhelesnikov's prediction that Eliona's career ended on her little finger turned out to be, to put it mildly, hasty. In addition to the fact that pair skating unexpectedly became the only chance to keep Kostanaya on the ice, this unexpected transfer showed that it is not necessary to end your path in figure skating at 18, as soon as your health no longer allows you to attempt difficult elements. It is unlikely that the European champion, who was predicted to win Olympic gold, is motivated by the penultimate place in the Russian championships, and this is an important illustration of the fact that figure skating is not limited to medals. Finding the strength for such a downshift and seeing eights and components for the first time since the age of 14 is probably no easier than killing yourself over a triple axle. Of course, this does not mean that the transition from women's to pair skating after losing jumps will become a trend. Although Terry Tuberts's interest in this discipline can easily serve as an additional trigger. An ideal uninterrupted, there is no irony here, conveyor belt that allows you to extend your career in a new capacity. Looking back, I want to think about whether Leona was hasty with this choice. It is possible to get on the podium of the Russian Championships in women's skating for the first time in many years, without an ultra C, it seems that Kostanaya would have had excellent chances even without a triple axle. But the interest in Eliona's case is not in medals at domestic tournaments. Having already missed one Olympics, Kostanaya would have had very slim chances at the next one, and not because of her own condition, but because of the ban of the Russian national team. Competing with Petrosin, Akativa and Muraviova would be difficult not so much because of the difference in content, but because of completely different motivations. As sad as it is to realize, a generation of single skaters has grown up in the national team that has never competed in major international tournaments. They simply have nothing to compare with. One could argue that the slim chances of a quick unban do not bother Trusova at all, who, with her characteristic impulsiveness, showed up for the test skates. Sasha's return will not save Russian figure skating from a natural decline in interest, but this is a favorable scenario for all participants. The Federation gets a headliner for the performances, who ensures ticket sales, Plushenko gets the first positive news item in several months, and Tusova herself gets a dose of competitive adrenaline, which she seems to be lacking. Even Channel 1 has joined the game, having forgotten about mutual grievances at least, Sasha is already inviting viewers to turn on the broadcast in Telegram. This 10 second circle is not just another announcement of the performances, but an important step towards reconciliation. There is a feeling that Tusova will not be at the Grand Prix stages, but she may well apply for the Team Cup and Show tournament. In other circumstances, such a selective approach to competitions would look arrogant and would hardly please the Federation, but now it is Sasha who dictates the terms. It is unlikely that she can be lured to domestic competitions with prize money, let alone medals. She will definitely earn more in the ice fairy tales of Yana Rutkaskaya, especially since the gold of the lucrative show tournament is reserved for Alexei Yagidin. So, we have to agree with what is interesting to Trusova herself. And it is hard to blame her for this. Anna Shurbakova appears in the headlines less often than Trusova or Kostanaya, but she has become the main beneficiary of the year. If the perfection of her technique could be questioned, then her ability to compete never. In this stellar generation, she often seemed like a weak link. She did not have Kostanaya's gliding and emotionality, as well as Trusova's unique athleticism. While Sasha was nailing a record-breaking quadruple at the Junior World Championships in 2018, Anya was recovering from an injury. This could have demotivated many, but not her. Despite the image of a diligent excellent student, Shubakova often suffered disappointing losses. She missed out on the gold at Euro 2020, despite a convincing victory in the free skate. At the beginning of the Olympic season, she managed to stay behind Maya Kramik at the Challenger in Budapest. She had a hard time at the Russian Olympic Qualifying Championship. Olympic gold was also not easy for her. 
Shubakova, like Tursova, did not make it to the team tournament, broke her skates in Beijing, and the celebration itself was spoiled by two tragedies unfolding nearby. Sasha admitting her hatred for the sport and Camila whispering through tears, at least the ceremony won't be cancelled. The national team ban came into effect almost immediately after Anna's victory, and crossed out all plans for the standard off-season of the Olympic champion. International shows, master classes, large advertising contracts. Although Strubikova remained in demand even under these conditions, the latest invitations to France and China confirmed this her potential was much higher. The loyalty of the foreign public and good English could pay off handsomely. She calls her return to competitions not a very pressing issue, but she still came to St. Petersburg albeit without skates. There is something symbolic in the fact that the legendary trio met again, but no longer compete with each other. A lot of interesting and sometimes crazy things fit into these five years. Two marriages at once, eight transfers, and this is taking into account the fact that Shubakova did not transfer anywhere. Several manifestos of Kostanaya in a mixed zone, dozens of quarrels and reconciliations. It seems that time flies twice as fast for this generation, perhaps because it was impossible to stand still with such rivals. And no matter how impulsive and sometimes strange their decisions sometimes seemed it is impossible not to miss this year.